Children are a blessing. Let's treat them as such. Now, in 1953, a buffalo on rampage was reported to have killed five persons in Oji community of Bayosa State before it was eventually gunned down in 1957. A few people who witnessed the onslaught of the four-footed beast say it had only natives of Oji as its target and never harmed any visitor that crossed its path. In this feature on Sunday specials, TVC's Oviet Judge digs into the people's history and how they have over the years preserved culture and tradition with the 60-year-old Odi Ogori Baoge International Festival. Along the banks of the River Nan lies Odi, an ancient community in Kolokuma Opokuma Council area of Bayelsa State. The peaceful and agrarian lifestyle of the people was halted in 1953 when a buffalo on the rampage attacked them on the way to the river and their farmlands. The four-footed beast was occasionally seen near the church premises and primary school building. The Ogori itself appeared in the school compound and all of us, the children, everybody running, helter skelter, the teachers jumping across, students and uh, children, people are running out from their windows of the school compound. My father and all the hunters started to trace it but couldn't even find where it was until that said the day when it appeared on that school compound, on so soft premises. Before I go closer to my father, I had another, you know, rifle shot. Bah! Two families in OD share a somewhat conflicting tale on how the buffalo met its Waterloo after tormenting the people for about five years. My grandfather, Nengi Thompson Ageda, traveled all the way from here to Niger Republic cross the border to Niger Republic. He used to call it French territory and got to a village called Tara and obtained that charm, came back and applied the charm according to the instructions of the Malam who gave him the charm. My father was a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witnesses doesn't have to do anything, no. I have anything to do with you know, something that's a charm. So nobody gives charm. Or instruct my father to go and make some to you know, kill this animal. My father struggled on his own to kill it. The question is, was it an animal or a supernatural being in animal form? A supernatural buffalo. There is a spirit behind terrorizing Odi for the past five good years. <laughs> When strangers come into Oji, when coming through bush paths or going, they will be singing. When in village they come from, that is the way they used to sing when going. Then the Ogori will not even appear to them. The Odi people call it a mystery, but to compound the narrative, in 2014, exactly 57 years after the first buffalo was killed in 1957, another one showed up but was hunted down by this man seated right in front of me, Winkro Ase. He's going to speak in the traditional Zon language. Now, how did you kill the buffalo in 2014? That is 2014. Two days after the 2014 celebration, I went to inspect my trap and discovered a buffalo had been caught and it could not escape. A few lethal blows and the buffalo died. Ase was celebrated as a folk hero when he used a marine rope to kill the second buffalo on August the 4th, 2014 drawing a comparison between the first and the second beast. It was somebody that sings to the animal. He used to, you know, to kill and then you know, put mark for his ears. Ogori appeared two times. The first one was man-made. 
And this second one is a different animal that we think all animals in the forest are animals. Over the years, the people of Odi community have celebrated the killing of the 1957 buffalo by naming the cultural tradition as Odiogoribaoge, an event with a rising profile, much appreciated as the Odi International Festival. I was born in the year 1957 when the Ogori was killed. That year, Ogori was killed. So since then, the community of Oji people, we are ce uh, celebrating the Ogori every year. So this year, we are now celebrating again. The 2017 Odi Ogori Baoge brought dignitaries from far and near, including the Malaysian High Commissioner to Nigeria, Datuk Lim Joanyuin. Ha, Izo. Ha, Izo. And ha, Izo. Mbana, Izo. Mbana. Thank you. The women of the community staged a mock infantry parade to the delight of spectators, but the high point of activities lined up to mark the 60th anniversary of their liberation from the four-footed beast was what the organizers call a love boat. This is an artist impression of the buffalo that tormented Odi community in 1953 and then the man who brought it down in 1957. The contending forces is the reason for the celebration of this festival where the community triumphed over the four-footed beast. But this is also calling on the Bielsa state government and multinational oil companies in Bielsa state to partner with the community and give the festival the international status that it really deserves. Ovietemet George, TVC News, Odi, Bielsa State.